Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Zunist Zunbeels. In the last episode we won our holy war over here for this duchy and declared a new one for these two counties after the Abbasid realm dissolved due to a decadence invasion, which is really good news for us. It makes things much easier. We're going to be able to start declaring wars on all of these little independent guys that we now border. Uh, we are also over our vassal limit, which we deal with, I suppose. Let's create one of these duchies. There's no reason to hold off. Uh, Khorasan, I suppose, would be the best one. I have a few independent counts in here. Oh, and we actually have this county held personally. Well, why don't we give this away as well and take care of our domain size problem also? I forgot we had this county, so... Let's see, we can just find a reasonable character in here to give it to. Nishapur. And we'll give away... Actually, we didn't even create the duchy title yet, did we? Cost us 100 gold, give us 200 prestige. Are any of these characters especially distinguished? This guy is a good military character. He's ambitious, though. This guy is also good. Less good, admittedly, but content. I think if we give this guy the duchy title, he won't have the ambitious modifier against us. I'm prepared to deal with a troublesome vassal if I'm wrong about that. We'll find out. Yeah, he does not have the minus 50 ambitious modifier, that's good. Need to appoint a new Grand Vizier. We'll appoint this Count, I think. He'll be the same skill once he fulfills his ambition, and he is a higher level character. And we'll see who we need to improve diplomatic relations with, if anyone. We have had a lot of turnover in our vassal satraps recently. Deaths and usurpations. So our most powerful guy is pretty happy. Second most powerful guy is seven. I guess we'll work on this person, who is pretty unhappy with me. Uh, largely because he is a heretic. He thinks I'm a heretic, of course. Well, we'll send our chancellor over there. We'll probably be able to send him a gift. Pretty expensive for not much opinion, but we have a lot of money, so we'll do it anyway. No honorary titles we can give him, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to make him convert till our Grand Vizier works his magic. Anyway, let's unpause and continue with our sieges in this Holy War. We did win a very close battle in this county just at the end of the last episode. That should hopefully secure this war for us. We win these sieges. Might go and attack his army again, but he's parked in the mountains there. Probably just going to stay there. We'll see how much war score we have after this siege finishes. 69% and we'll be getting ticking war score. Uh, let's just move into his capital and start sieging that and... Hopefully that should be enough. We'll gain 90 gold as well from a tithe. Where are you going? He's probably coming around here to... Yeah, try and siege this back if we move our troops out. Well, we could wait. For the ticking war score to take us to 100%, or we could... Bank on the fact that we'll finish our siege here before he finishes sieging back the holding here. Or we could just let him come in here and then attack him with both of our armies since this is desert and we'll have neutral terrain. I like that plan the best. Let's appoint our new satrap as a marshal. 
since that was why he, we made him the satrap in the first place. Because he had high martial skill. And we can get married to our betrothed, so let's do it. Now we can pick an ambition to have a daughter, why not? So she is a genius. She became a misguided warrior, so equally bad as my education trait. Uh, hopefully she'll give us some genius sons though. I think we'll set our concubine aside so that we don't get any more children from her. We do have our safety heir in place, he's no longer sickly. Okay, so he is indeed trying to siege me in here. We'll come in from both directions. Let's actually delay this army by about a month so that they arrive at about the same time. Close enough. And I'm assuming this battle will be worth enough war score for us to end the war right then. some technology from Constantinople, and in fact we can invest in economy tech. So we don't get much value out of trade practices or town infrastructure for that matter. Actually it increases city tax, so I guess it's worth something. Maybe we'll catch up on this. And church infrastructure, why not? Alright, that will do for the moment. In the chaos of battle, your men have managed to corner this guy. Okay. He slew him. And we actually did not get to 100% from that battle. So, why don't we follow his army for one more battle and then... We should be able to just disband our troops and ride the ticking war score to victory. We could probably do that without fighting this battle, but may as well. And we captured a mayor. So at least it was worth 25 gold to us. You have converted an errant subject, well done. And we have a new satrap up here, who's relatively happy with me. And we can disband our troops. Ooh. Are the Umayyads in this war? I have no idea. Oh, they are. Well, they might be able to siege back a holding before the war score ticks up, so that would be bad. And he's actually raised a... Looks like a mercenary army here. Hmm. Are we going to have to re-raise our troops? I would rather not, obviously. I guess we could hire the Holy Order. Yeah, let's do that. It'll cost us a bunch of gold for however long we have it raised, but we have a decent income, so we're not losing too much. We can let our vassal opinion penalties go down. I assume our domain troops are a bit depleted as well. Yeah, not too bad, but we can let them replenish. Maybe the Umayyads aren't actually coming over here after all.
I don't really want to actually fight him in the mountains here. I was kind of hoping he would run away. I guess it doesn't matter, because this is just the Holy Order. We should win anyway. And our vassal Satrap has declared a holy war for Tabaristan. On this guy in here. Alright. You can do that. And we win our war. No lower holdings to give out in these counties, so we'll just give out the counties themselves. Mars Penat of Kalat as well, which we used to hold way back in the mists of time before the Abbasids, I think, stole it from us. Can we check it out in the history? Let's see, all the way back here, we conquered it back in 770, and then um, yeah, we granted it to these people, and then the Umayyads, or sorry, the Abbasids, conquered it back from us in 795. And now it's back under our control again. Alright then. You have improved the opinion of the Grand Master of the Knights of the Sun. Alright. Well done, I suppose. Hey, okay, let's see if we have any factions. We do not. Most of our satraps are relatively happy. This guy still not so much. Don't think our vizier has improved his opinion at all yet. Oh, a broken betrothal as well. Well, that's my bad, I guess. Already sent him a gift. Let's have to wait for our vizier to improve his opinion and we should be able to make him convert. We'll keep an eye on our vassal's war, I guess. And we gained some technology from Constantinople. Our other vassal up here is still in his war for Kiva, which he is just about winning. Independence faction, okay. Uh, the Duchy of Kiva these counties up here. That's going to give us very untidy borders up there. I don't appreciate that. I guess we could declare our own holy war for these counties and make things a bit neater if we wanted to. And we have a revolt, or one of our satraps does. So... We're doing what we can already for this faction, I think. So nothing really... Can ...contribute to that. Um, we do need to get our nephew here educated. We'll just give to a random courtier. Or the Queen Mother, how about? So I don't think there's any particularly good reason for us not to declare another Holy War right now. We could take these two counties, or this county here in Khorasan. Or we could turn our attention eastward. I think we probably still have a truce with, <clears throat> excuse me, with uh, Rajputana up here. Only for another year, though. But if we declared war on them, we could take these two counties. Or we could even declare on Choda Kingdom. And take these two counties down here. Or we could declare on the Umayyads. Who are pretty weak right now. And would be unlikely to send a significant army over here anyway. 
Is this all in the same duchy? Unfortunately, it's not. But we can take three counties in Sistan. I think we'll do that. I will raise up all our troops. Uh, hold off on raising the Holy Order. I don't think that's going to be necessary. At least yet. We are up to our vassal limit again, which is potentially a problem. Maybe we should just go ahead and make another duchy title. Let's see. You are under our Batrap of Kerman, which is not actually the correct du jour liege. So if we create the duchy title and give it to this guy, that will fix that problem. And get rid of... Actually, this leaves us with the same number of vassals, doesn't it? Oh well. We'll do it anyway. That weakens our satrap in Kerman a little bit, which is good. Fortunately, we have no more satrapies we can create, so... I guess until we conquer these counties, we can't reduce our number of vassals any further. The good thing is that we won't increase our vassal limit by doing this because we'll be able to create the Duchy of Sistan and give that out, so... That will be fine, I suppose. So let's get our sieges started in our target duchy here. The chief of Ranicot has provided me with proof that a sun guardian has been viciously slandering me. Well, I don't think we need to take any action against him, so let's not. This guy is still in his faction, not unexpectedly. We have a lower crown authority faction as well. This guy we should be able to take care of with a gift. Or maybe not, maybe he'll Oh, that's revoking. Don't want to revoke a title, we'll grant him the title of Venerable Elder instead. But surely that should get him out. And it did. This guy's actually up to 33. It... Yeah, the Broken Betrothal modifier wore off. So that's good. I don't think it's high enough for us to demand his conversion yet, though. If our Vizier would do his job we would be able to do that. I'm sure he'll do it at some point. And our truce with Rajputana is expiring. but we'll wait till a little later before we declare war on them again. So my vassal here is war against... This is his war. Is going 36% uh, in his favor. Our other satrap is... Oh well, first of all, he's defending against a revolt, but his offensive holy war is also going well for him. 
Good to know. And the Sadadin dynasty is apparently having some troubles. I think these are revolts against them. Where is your capital? Not here. Um, in any case, they're having two revolts. Also defending against three other separate wars, so maybe some further breakup of that realm, which would be absolutely fine by me. My young wife has taken a passion for romantic poetry. She keeps reading any sort of romantic poetry she can get a hold of. We will pay ten golds to have her become lustful and gain plus ten percent fertility. I guess that's additive, so it would be a total of plus 30% fertility, which is pretty good. Oh, and she's pregnant already, okay. Let's hope for genius babies. We have our army in here sieging this county. We may as well split this in half and siege all three of our target counties at the same time. The Umayyads actually have 23,000 troops right now. Which is more than last time I looked. His nickname is Priest Hater. Wow. That's a pretty cool nickname, too. Though we should be wary about Umayyad armies coming over here, but if past experience is anything to go by, they probably won't send too many. But we have become ill, which is a little worrying. Let's hope we don't die. We're also depressed. Um, that being the case, I think I'd like to change to a health-improving focus. Let's go for hunting, because there is the chance of us getting additional plus health modifiers from that. I'd like to not die in the very near future. But we'll have to find out in the next episode because we're out of time for now. So thanks for watching and join me again then.